Bye bye. Hello, Mr. Mr. Ryan. Are you right? No. Yeah. Okay. So we are given an array of integer, and the size of the array is power of two. Two one minus one zero four two three eight. There are eight numbers. Eight is power of two. Okay. So why do we need the power of two? I will tell you. So we want to visualize it as like the the leaves of the trees. You know, you know the trees, pine the tree. Yeah. So look. These two and these two, these two and these two, these two and these two, these two and these two. Okay, we group consecutive two numbers, right? And I want to get this. This is the magic. We want to get the mean here. We want to get the maximum here. We want to get the mean here. We want to get the maximum here. So the minimum of two one is one. One. Maximum zero. zero. Four. Four. Eight. Ah, mean. Oh yeah, two. Two. Eight. Okay, so how many numbers we eliminated? Four. Half of it, right? So we have four. Okay, so now we can group two. What, what if it's two. What if a total number of nums at the beginning is an odd number? Power of two. The size of the array is Yeah, but what if they're the same number? The same numbers, and then do you turn any of it? Right? So what do you mean? The odd number? So. And, oh yeah, Ryan has a good point. What if you... Like you have min, yeah? yeah. If the if the first number two, yeah, uh -huh. was a one. Okay, so you say one one. The minimum of one and one is one. The maximum of one and one is one. Okay, the larger one, right? Even they are equal, you can still get the minimum or the maximum. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So now look, we have reduced half size. So what if it's what if it's? Oh yeah. Yeah, so we deduce half of it and then we continue this process. And the mean always start with the mean, the leftmost is the mean. Mean, zero, max, eight, okay, and then get the mean, which is zero. Once we have only one number, we return this number, which is zero. Okay, any questions so far for this uh, problem? What's the first power of two? Power of two. What number is power of two? One. One is power of two, which is two to the power of zero. Two, two to the power of one. 4, 2 to the power of 2, 8, yeah, this goes on, right? Okay? But what if you, what if you, have, what if you have one number? One number, yeah. So we just return it. This is the terminal cases, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so to can, sum up... Can there be decimal numbers? Good point, yeah, it doesn't matter, right? Because the, getting the minimum and the maximum of two numbers, it doesn't have to be integer, but yeah, to for simplicity, we just uh, use the uh, integers, right? Mm. To sum up, we've given this uh, array, which is size of power of two, and we want to continue this process. Group each two numbers, and then from left to the right, mean, max, mean, max. This is the tree, right? This is the root. Okay, so this is the root, zero. And then, yeah, yeah, zero eight, right? And then one zero. And then you see, this is a tree actually. We are given the leaves. If the height is h, the node is two to the power of h minus one, n equals that, right? This is a complete binary tree, right? I think it's perfect, perfect binary tree. Okay, I forgot the details. So I think it's called a completed. Is is there balance? Oh, your balance is the other story. Perfect, complete, and full, okay? Okay. Balance is, is the any trees, the left and the right, the data height, data height is smaller or equal than one. Okay, so this is the balance tree, right? But this is not, right? This is not. I mean, we're given this, what's your source about this? I think you just, I think you just work, I just think you just work through I think it's it's kind of like the other day. Uh, I it's kind of like math. You 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 you're doing the same thing, but maybe you're just presenting it differently. If it was backwards, but you're just doing math. Good job. Yeah, because this is kind of thing like you do what it says, right? Mm -hmm. You're told what to do. You just follow it. it. The steps. This is just called simulation, right? So that's good. This is kind of implementation uh, problem. So we just implement what we are told. It's similar like yesterday. Yeah? Do you still remember what are we talking about yesterday? What have we talked about yesterday? We were talking about numbers. 
Or numbers? Huh? Or numbers? What's the problem we have to talk about yesterday? I think it's subtract one number plus number. Ah, uh, yeah, alternatively, yeah, from memory. Okay. Yeah, I almost forget. Thank you for reminding me. Forgot. Yeah, okay. So this is kind of thing, simulation, okay. We can use the recursion, right? So if the array has only one number, then we just return it, right? Otherwise, we reduce it to half by defining f array, okay? n equal, we get a size. If n equal equal 1, if there's only one number in array, we return the first element. Otherwise, look, the new array, right? Let's say new array equals that. So we do this. For i in range, we start from the 0 up to n. We step 2, right? Every time we step 2. The first one is minimum. The next one is maximum, right? Array dot append. G, A, R, R, I, A, R, R, I plus 1, right? Now, look at this G thing. At the beginning, G equals minimum, right? At the beginning, it's minimum. The leftmost, the leftmost is minimum. Mean, the next one is max. The next one is mean. So what do we call this? Max. Min, max, min, max, min, max, min, max. So now it's mean. Now I need to change it to max. So I can say g equals max. This is a function. I assign it to a variable. Equals max. If current g equal equal mean. If g equal equal mean, then the next one should be max. Otherwise, it's mean, right? So this is actually the same as if g equal equal mean, then g equal max. As g equals mean, okay? And then return. Now I have this array, right? Return f a recursion. What are we doing here? This is terminal cases, right? If array has only one element, we return. We know how to solve it, right? If it only has one element, we return it the first element. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm just doing this group two numbers, any two numbers, yeah. So look, a is the half of the array, right? So this one, this one, this one, this one. I put all these numbers into a okay into a and then this gene at the beginning is mean and after that iteration you become max so mean max mean max right so this is mean this is max mean max this is g okay g will be mean max mean max and after i got the a a is size of the half of the array right can anybody explain to me what's this what's this bit a is the Half of it. So why do we need to call the f function again? Why do we need to call the f function again? Because you're doing the same thing. Same thing with the half of the size until it reaches one element, right? This is recursion, right? Calling recursion to solve a smaller size of problem, but we have to define the base cases. Alright, good job. So this is using the recursion. The time complexity and space complexity. Okay. The space complexity. Obviously, we need to use the a new array to store the new element, half size element, O n, right? The time complexity, how many steps? If there are n elements, how many steps to reduce to one? There are eight, eight elements, how many steps to reduce to one element? Three. Yeah? Okay. 128, how many steps to reduce to one? Six. Okay, so, is it six? No. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah, you are right, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's log no, base no, 2, if, No, no, I, I'm not correct, if 8 to 1 is 3, then I'm not correct, ah, okay, okay, because, because for 8, you count for 1, yeah, log base 2 n, right, yeah, this is the log 2 function, every time so we do this, yeah, 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 so, 4 to 1, and you were 64, 32, 16, 8, mm -hmm. 4 to, Four two, okay. and, that, and that's six, but, but you didn't count for one, so, so it must be seven. Yeah, good point. Uh, details, okay? That's good. We're just changing. Mean, max, mean, max. Uh, we can use another function called cycle. What's cycle mean? From eta to us. You go on the bike and cycle. What cycle. does this word mean? Cycle. Cycle is like going over, like going in a process that that leads over again and again, like, right yeah. like recycle, it go, it it recycles to something new and, and, and then it like recycles and mm -hmm. cycle, the wheels go round and... Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. Okay, so look at this cycle, so we can change this, uh, uh, 
uh, G equals, we can say it's a cycle. Cycle uh, mean max, right? Because look, there are only two elements, mean max. Uh, basically, it's just like, uh, okay, I want the mean, and I want the max, right? It's a cycle, right? Okay, so this returns an iterator. Count is mean, the next one is max, and the next one is mean, the next one is max, right? Instead of doing this, I don't need this anymore. Append G, I can say next G. Okay, next G will give me the next, if it's a mean, then it will be next, will be max, and mean, max, okay? So this is the fancy syntax using the cycle to make the code clean, easy to understand. The other way, we can use the queue to do it. So we just turn the numbers into the queue, and then every time we pop two elements, we pop two elements, right? And then we push it back to the queue. Define F A R R Q equals D Q. We turn the array into the queue, and while the length of a queue is bigger than what should I put here? Zero or one? One. One. Yeah, because if it has more than one element, then we need to pop two elements at a time, right? But we need to get the length first. So now I'm saying there are n elements in the array. So how many times we need to pop two elements? Now there are eight elements. Yeah. I'm saying each time I pop two. I take two, so how many times I need to take? Four. Yeah, four times. Okay, so four, I in range, and uh, divide, I thought, divide I, two. I, when I said four, I thought you got the right four, and you're like four, I. <laughs> and, and when you said, when you written four, I thought you're like four. And divide by two. Let's, I give you an example. Okay, so what, now A, if B the, equals what, two. What if the, the groups, the groups, the, is like that? There's five groups and then you need to, and then you like min, max, min, max, min. No, that's not possible because I said sum power of two. What if there's three, yeah, three numbers in one? Day? Power of two, it means that you can always divide half, half, half until you get one, right? Okay? A, B, A comma B equals Q the pop left, Q the pop left. So I take two, they are A here, right? Both a here. So I take two, I take two, I take two, I take two. I take four times of two. And again, I have the G function here, right? So I can say Q dot append append G function G function A B. I pop. I use the G function, which is min or max, and and push it back to the Q, right? And then at the end, just return Q zero, right? Okay. So this G function, the same thing here. G I can do this G cycle thing or I can use the g equals max if g equals mean as mean right g cycle thing so I can just say g equals the put it here and then instead of g I will say next g okay okay yeah a q this is the same thing right and this is basically like this instead instead we use the q so this is a q right this is a q four 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 so, so I pop four times I take two at a time and I do this uh, max, min max and I push it back to the queue so this is the uh, push it back to the queue here I push back to the queue here push back to the queue here push back to the queue, here, to the queue, here, to the queue here. and then there are four right and I again do this two two at a time until it only has one element and I return it right make sense yeah okay so so far these two approach use additional space right a queue can we do it in place can we do it in place for example like we have array we have array here one, two, three, four, just these four numbers. Can we do it in place? What do you mean? Previous, these two methods, I need to allocate another array, which is the mean, this is one, max is this four. This is another array, another two this mean, which is one, okay? But instead of the allocating array, this is using the queue, this is using a recursion and an additional array, we can save this variable in place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, there are eight elements, right? So every time I cut in half, right? Mm. After the first iteration, there are only four left. So look, this one. So one, one, two, this is one. Okay, and the second element is three, four. Okay, look at, look at what I did. Look at what I did. This is bigger, four. This is what? Smaller, five. This is bigger. Hey, got it? Do you see this? I can override this. I can override. 
I can over like and again okay, look one and four four one five and eight 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 okay so every time I can override this variable I need to cut in half this n equals a at the beginning the second iteration n equals four and then two one one because I'm writing the values and I don't care what happened here but in order to get these if I'm iterating over this index one I need to get an element 2 times i this is 2 times i this is 2 times i plus 1 right okay make sense i just mm. noticed if you have the numbers sorted the answer is the smallest number how can you prove i don't know but it looks like it right it looks yeah, because, like it <laughs> because, because look because you because you because you always end up end up ha having like the minimum and the, and the first number the smallest number is at the beginning and and that's where the minimum is going minimum max minimum max and it starts at the minimum so the min, mi, the most minimum goes down and then the most minimum because it's always at the start so and it always starts at minimum so it's always obviously go past and then eventually Eventually, it's going to go to minimum and then. Good job, good job. Excellent. That's a well uh, discovery. Yes, yes, you're right. We can prove it. If it's increasing, this is uh, always uh, winning, right? It's always winning because the leftmost is always, you know, meaning. Okay? That's very good. Okay, so I can use the index. I can override this variable with its index 2 times i plus 1 and 2 times i. Okay? That's the last method. And then think about which one is the best. Define f a r r. Okay? We are overriding this. Uh, what's in place? What's in place? In place means that I don't want to allocate additional array. I just want to change the original array. This is, this is an original array. You can change it. <coughs> Let's call in place. I am in place. So I'm modifying the input in place. So I don't need to allocate other places. N equals length ARR. Okay? Why uh, N is bigger than 1? For i in range n over over 2, right? divided by 2. And then arr, look, arr i, I'm changing this variable now. I'm changing the input. Equals g function, okay? G function is the same, right? arr 2 times i, okay? This is 2 times i, and arr 2 times i plus 1, right? Yeah, look here. Yeah, yeah, this is i, right? This number is two times i. This number is two times i plus one. Okay, this is i. This is two times i. This is two times i plus one. Okay, make sense? Yes. Okay, and after this, n divided by divided by two. What's this mean? It means it's divided by two. Yeah. Why do we need to divide it by two? Because when when we said power of two, when when we uh like we compare two and then we get one and so that's half and you end up having half of the original. Yeah, yeah. So every time we do this one iteration, we reduce the size to half, right? So n divided by by two is the same as n shift shift equal one, right? We shift the n to the one position to the right, and then return. A R R zero, right? Okay, and I think that would be it, right? Eight elements, four pairs. Sixteen elements, eight pairs. Right? This is what it does. Eight divided by two. So one, this original value one needs to take care of one and two. This two needs to take care of three and four. This three needs to take care of five and six. This four needs to take care of seven and eight. Okay, let's see. The time complexity is the same, log n. The space complexity of 1. We are modifying the original way. Okay, so to sum up, the first one recursion, the second one using the queue, the third one modifying the original way, the three approach the time complexity all are log n because it takes log n steps to reduce the size of n to 1. The space complexity, the first one, O n, the second one, you know, uh, O N, right? The third one O one. So which one is the best? The third one. Yeah. The third one. Big Y. Because it's obviously O one. O one space, you know, additional space. Okay, that, that's it. That's it. Very good. Okay, so what have you learned today? Nothing.
<laughs> okay, should we do it again? <laughs> okay, what have you learned today? Come on. Okay, I have learned about the numbers. So, so we have digits, mm -hmm. but digits, the total amount of digits ha have to be uh, the power of two because you're halving it, halving it, which are numbers which 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 can halve until it's one. Yes. And, and it goes minimum, maximum, minimum, maximum, mm -hmm. and, and then at the time, uh, when it's one, it, when there's only one uh, digit left, we, uh, yeah, okay. So yeah. what's our uh, approach here? We have recursion. Yeah. Uh, we have a Q. Yes. And, and we have a... Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. So recursion, this is modifying, yeah? So, uh, okay, before I forgot, yeah, this G function, this G is the same, yeah? G, cycle, yeah? Cycle, you learn this new function from iter to an impulse cycle, right? And it, it basically it returns the iterator. So you can do this uh, next. What is next is mean? The next one will be max. It's an indefinite, indefinite iterator, right? You can call it, call the next function on the G function. As long as you define G cycle mean max, okay? Okay, that's it for today. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.